Do you have any idea what you're going to expect to see inside there? Some tubes? Um, sort of tubes, yes. We won't actually see the tubes that do the business of the kidney, the actual filtering of the blood, because they're far too small to see at this sort of level. Getting through it now, I think. Yes, there we go. Um, it's got, see all this white bit here? Yeah. That's where the urine actually collects. So the urine is, is being formed in the substance of the kidney and then it collects into this white area here. And then that leads off into the ureter, which is the tube that takes the urine to the bladder. Okay. So looking at a kidney that has been cut in that way then, we have the renal artery bringing blood with waste urea to the kidney. Oxygen is taken out of the blood and used by the cells in the kidney and the waste urea is removed so the renal vein takes away deoxygenated cleaned blood. The blood from the renal arteries goes into the cortex and feeds into nephrons which lead into the medulla and the waste product is collected by the ureter and here we can see all of those parts labelled. We can consider the kidney to be a filtration system so blood containing urea comes in to the kidney small molecules like urea and salts and water pass into the uh, waste uh, collecting tubes but glucose and water and salts are then retrieved from that and returned to the blood. So blood comes in, is filtered, which removes the toxins but some useful materials as well. The useful materials are reabsorbed and replaced back into the cleaned blood. Here we see a cross section of a kidney again and shows the position of the nephron from the cortex into the medulla region and there's a nephron and a higher power. There's about a million nephrons in a kidney. So looking at an individual nephron, blood enters the glomerulus here and because the artery here has a wider diameter than the artery coming out, the blood in here is under pressure and that, because the artery is also semi-permeable, allows small molecules to be forced out. So water, salts and urea are, far, uh, are passed out here into the Bowman's capsule and then go down towards the waste collecting duct. Now the key point here is that this part called the loop of Henle is a part which allows reabsorption back of water and salts and glucose so that if needed they can be retained in the blood whereas the urea is not reabsorbed so that then passes out down the duct to the ureter uh, to the bladder.